Oh, California. People travel far and wide to visit our Golden Coast with its warm beaches, year-round sun, fresh Pacific air, and copious wine. But one thing we definitely don't have enough of, houses. You've heard it, and it's not new news. California has been experiencing a housing shortage since 1970. How bad is the shortage? Why is it happening? What will it take to get better? Let's banter. Okay, so how bad is it really, you ask? California is ranked number 50 amongst 50 US states in terms of new housing units created per new job. Where a healthy ratio is two new jobs to one housing unit, Southern California is 3.7 to one, and San Francisco is seven to one. The impact? Without enough homes to meet demand, prices are driven up. The median price for a Californian home is over two and a half times that of the US. For every one home in San Francisco, you can buy four and a half in Houston. California has the second highest median home price in the US after Hawaii, and it has the 50th worst homelessness rate accounting for cost of living. What's causing the inventory shortage? Here are three top reasons. Number one, restrictive zoning laws. The majority of land zoned residential in California only permits development of single family homes or duplexes. Number two, strict environmental laws. The California Environmental Quality Act requires an arduous review, disclosure, and permitting process. Not only does that make it harder to develop faster, but these regulations around quality materials and high energy efficiency significantly increases material costs. Number three, construction labor shortage. It's just not affordable to build. California imposes higher development fees for building single family homes than in the rest of the country on average. On top of that, the high cost of living means construction workers can't afford to live in the cities they're building in. So what will it take to improve the crisis? Legislation and incentives, making it easier to build more homes. Experts say California needs to double its current rate of housing production just to keep up with expected population growth and prevent prices from going up. People may be migrating out of California, but I hate to break it to you, but that's just not gonna be enough. All right, y'all, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Banter with Fran. Questions, comments, thoughts? Let me know in the notes below. I will see you next time.